Does your favorite device have a screen that needs replacing, but you don't have a heat gun? If you happen to have a 3D printer, I'll show you how to use a heated bed to remove that screen. Welcome to Warren Prints. The first thing you want to do is preheat your printer bed to 60 degrees Celsius. This will warm up the double-sided tape without damaging your electronics. While your printer is heating up, gather any tools that came with the screen repair kit, or ones you may already have. I like to organize my tools before I start. It makes it easier to find what you need, and I believe it is a good habit anyways. Next, load your device into your printer. I am repairing an iPad Air, but this will work on any device. After a few minutes go by, check to see if it is up to temperature by testing how hot the device is compared to the printer bed. If it is not quite the same temperature, just let it bake for a little bit longer. Once it is ready, remove it from the printer. Please be careful because now it is about 60 degrees Celsius, and that's about the same as a hot coffee mug. When you get it to your work area, start doing your thing. There are lots of videos out there about replacing the screen on your device and this is not meant to be one of them. I just wanted to show you an alternative to using a heat gun every few seconds. One of the reasons this works so well is that the case of the iPad is made of aluminum. When you use a heat gun to warm a small spot on the glass, the aluminum quickly transfers the heat away from where you want it. When you have the entire device up to temperature, there is nowhere for the heat to go so the spot you are working on stays hot longer. If you look closely at the video, you will notice that I am wearing safety glasses. When working with broken screens, the glass can shoot out at your face and embed in your eye. If you don't have safety glasses, get creative. Grab a pair of sunglasses or even swimming goggles. Just please wear something. Once you get it all back together, stick it back in your printer for a few minutes just to help the glue warm up. Once it is warm, Pull it out and make sure the glass is seated all the way around. Then, I like to put it face down on a cloth and put a little bit of weight on it. Since I like to tinker on machines, I happen to have a couple catalogs handy. The weight of these two catalogs plus a little bearing I had lying around, should be enough pressure to activate the double-sided tape and let the screen stick to the frame so that we can enjoy the iPad once again. I've always tried to figure out how something can be used besides the original purpose that it can be designed for. Everyone does this. It's like using a, a screwdriver as a pry bar or a rock as a hammer, right? Uh, what other ideas do you guys have for 3D printers? I would love to see what we can come up with. Just leave comments down below. Also, if you guys have any other ideas or tips or tricks for changing out screens, uh, anything that I could have done differently here, please leave that down below too. That way if someone stumbles across this video who is replacing their screen, uh, maybe you can give them a tip that'll make things work a little bit better. Um, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my videos and also hit that notification bell so you can be uh, notified when hopefully I get my next one out. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Are you gonna do it while you make? Well, okay. No. And stop recording? Is there, is there recording? Yes. Okay. I can see the numbers. Stop recording.